Canva quiz maker. How to create a quiz on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys step by step how you can create a quiz like this on Canva. So this is a really uh, simpled out version of a quiz. I'll show you guys how these work in action. So you often find these videos on YouTube like general knowledge quizzes and they have three options and then they, the correct option then gets highlighted. So you can easily make this on Canva and I'll show you guys exactly how. Plus I will show you guys a simple way to bulk create these as well. So to do this, first off we're going to choose our custom size, go into Canva for that. Once you go into Canva for this, convert the units from pixels to inches. And then what you're going to do is you're going to choose a size. Now, if you just search for YouTube over here in your template section, you're going to find a few different YouTube poster templates and you can easily just uh, take a look at the size of this. This is 1210 by 720. So I'm going to click on create design and I'm going to go into custom size. And we're going to go into pixels in 1280 and 720, 720 pixels. And I'll open up this new canvas over here. Now, once my canvas has been created, it's time to create my quiz. So for this, first off, I am going to use a simple color palette. I am going to keep light backgrounds and then I'm going to go into elements on the left. And then I will add a darker color over here. Now I will place this square from the shapes and this is where I will insert my general question. So once I've done that, I'm going to click on text and I'll just add a heading text over here. Now I will place the heading text right at the center and I think I want this to be aligned to the right like this. Now once I've done that, I'm going to decrease the font size a little like so. So even if the question is a bit long, it still fits in. And I'm just building a simple template first and I'll show you guys how to customize this for each question later on. Once I've done that, I go into elements and I'll take another square box and you can add, you know, different shapes. I just prefer to keep it a bit simple when I'm teaching you guys. So I'm just going to add another square box and I'm going to change the shape of this to a different color. So it's a bit easier for people to determine the answers. So I'll just click on command C, command V, command C, command V. And I'm just going to paste in four of the same boxes and I'll just try to place them as evenly as possible. Now I'm going to select all four together and then I can click on space evenly, vertically, then horizontally because these are elements. Uh, I'm going to make sure that all of them are aligned properly first. And once I've done that, I can just select them together and move them around together. Then go into align elements and I can align that. If I align them to the center, what this will do is that this will mix all of my shapes together. So first click on group and then click on align to page and then click on center. And on the top, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing where I'm going to align this to the center of the page. Now, once I've done that, I am going to click on text and I will click on add a subheading and I will change the size of this a little like this. I think we're going to just go for a slightly larger size like this one. Once I've done that, I can do command C, command V and place this. I'll increase the text box size over here and I'm going to place this in, in each one of these uh, boxes. So I'll just click on command C and then command V and then place it over here. Then do command C and command V and then place it over here. Then do command C and command V. Now, if you want to change the font style altogether, simply select one text element and then press shift. And then you will be able to select multiple text boxes at the same time. Then if you change the font style of one of the elements, you can easily change the font style of the other ones. So I'm going to find some interesting font styles. There are a bunch of different popular fonts that you can pick out from. I want something to be super easy to read because this is going to be for a YouTube video. I don't want anything that is too italic. I think something like this one looks pretty decent. Or this one. I think this looks pretty nice. 
Once I've done that, I can add some other uh, decorative elements. So I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to search for quiz. And I'm going to go into graphics over here and I am going to add this little illustration like this over here. And after that, I am going to search for letters and go into graphics and I can add A, B, C, D, the different options. So I'll choose like an interesting letter type for this. And I'm going to go with something that's really unique and easy to look at. I don't want anything that is too attention grabbing. I don't want the letters to be the main focus. So I think I want to go with simple scrapbook letters like this one, the ones that don't have any movement. Yeah. So I'm going to click on see all. I'll go into Trendify and I'll search for A and then I'll search for B search for c they all look pretty different which i don't like and then i'll search for d and then what i'm gonna do once i have all of my letters a b c d i'm gonna delete that i'm going to select these together so i can just select all of these and then i'll resize them together like this once i've resized these i can place the lettering beside each option so this is option a this is option b this is option d and i'll increase this the d one is not very visible but i think i'm going to choose some other letter d letter i think i'm going to go with this one instead because the other one is really hard to read and i'm just placing everything like so and what this does is that this just helps us in uh, making our video look interesting now the next step is to duplicate the slide and I'll show you guys a manual way. So let's say I add, add, a color, add a question. So what color is the sky? Question mark. Then I can add different options like red, blue, green, and then black or red, blue, green, orange. Now after that, what I'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this slide and for blue beneath blue i'm going to ungroup these boxes and for the box that is beneath blue i'm going to change the color of that to a green color because that is going to tell us that this is the correct answer then for the rest of the blocks i'm going to click on shift and hold them together then i'm going to select a dull red color because that is going to display to everyone that these are the incorrect answers like this. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the correct answer, click on animate, and then add a pulse animation to it like this, like so. Now, if I want to create a video out of this, all I have to do is I'll add the duration. So to add a duration, you can just search for timer and click on see all in graphics. And for that, you can see we have five, four, three, two, one. So we can just add five and duplicate this five times, five. The next one is gonna have four. And then the next one is gonna have three. And then the next one is going to have two. And then I'm just gonna directly move towards the answer like this. So this is just going to say zero like this. Now what I'm going to do is for the first page, I'm going to keep the timing of five seconds. For the second page on the top, I'm going to convert the timing to one second. Then for the uh, third page, I'm going to convert it to one, one second. I'll apply this to all pages and then just change the one for the first page to four seconds and to the last page to four seconds like this. Now, if I play this video, this is what my video looks like. Five, and then it's going to say four, three, two, one, and then the correct answer. Obviously, you can adjust the timings of this. Now, if you want to do this in a for in a bulk create, so for a bulk create, what you're going to do is you're going to delete the timer slides. You can always adjust the timer and add that later on because that is not like a really uh, difficult to add section. So just keep these two pages the correct answer one and what you're going to do is you are going to take any ai and use it to create a table like this once you use a ai to create a table like this simply copy the table as it is and 
Once you do that, you're going to open a Excel sheet. We're going to go home, create a new sheet. And in our new sheet, we're going to click on paste. Now, what it does is that it has pasted all the info. And you might wonder, hey, this is going to be so hard to add from an Excel sheet. No, it's not. I'll show you guys how to do this. So we're going to rename this uh, sheet to our quiz questions. Now, once we have renamed this, we're going to go back into Canva and then click on apps and then search for bulk create. Click on bulk create on the left and click on upload data. Then go into your newly created Excel sheet like this. Now we have selected our sheet and you will see a range preview. Well, this is all the data. What is the capital France? All that like this. So A1 to E5. I'm going to just reopen our sheet to see E5. Yeah, I want all the data to be caught. Oh, this is where my error happened. I'll show you guys where I made an error. Because when I was copying it, I didn't copy the first one correctly, I think. So that is very important to note. But what is the capital of France? You know, I think uh, our options are pretty good. Now, once I've done that, what I'm going to do is click on continue. Now I can click on connect data and then I'm just going to connect the data. Then we're going to click on connect data and select the first option, connect data and select the second option, connect data and select the third option, connect data and select the fourth option. Once this has been completed, click on continue. Click on generate four designs. And this is these are just five questions that I generated with AI. You can even generate a hundred. And you will see all of these have now been generated. Once all of these has, have been generated, all the question papers basically. So what planet is called the red planet? And all the answers have been typed in. Who is the author of the famous novel To Kill a Mockingbird? Uh, what color is the sky? This was the one that I created. Which of the following is not a chemical element? So what you're going to do once you have done that is just duplicate the page that has been auto-generated for you and just put a green background on the correct answer. And in this way, you can create like a 20 minute video in under 10 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.